All right, welcome back, guys. We got another Wilty, another one I lied to you. I really, 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 really like the, the, the sections that are, this is my, where it's the person that comes out. You guys know what it is. Anyway, but um, I've done a few of those, and they get blocked, and it's like a whole problem to upload them. So, <laughs> I'm going to record this one and see how, what happens, but... Um, if it, like, if this one can, you know, push through all the YouTube copyright stuffs, um, just know that I absolutely love these, and I think it's so much fun to have the three stories and get to choose which one's true. But I, I can't do many more. I've done some of them, and they just, I can't publish them or whatever. So they're hard to do. Anyway, there we go. Let's do this. We got Amy, David Mitchell's cowboy boot seller, Joe Lysets, I hope, model, or Nish Kumar's sleepy mate. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll find out soon. Anyway, here we go. Please welcome this week's special <laughs> guest, Amy. <laughs> so, Joe, what adorable. is Amy to you? This is my friend Amy, and I grossly offended her when I made a less than perfect sculpture of her head. <laughs> Nish, how do you know Amy? Uh, this is my friend Amy. We became friends after I found her asleep in a box of volleyballs. <laughs> and finally, David, what is your relationship with Amy? This is Amy. She is the charity shop worker who sold my shoes whilst <laughs> I was otherwise engaged trying on a pair of cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, where do you want to start? Nish, what, remind us again, Nish. Uh, she, I found her in a box oh, of yes. volleyballs. First of all, where were you where there was a box of volleyballs? <laughs> I was working at a leisure centre uh, just after I left school. Um, right. And Amy was also working there over the summer between school and uni. Right. And um, they sent me to check on the volleyballs. Well, and... well, check <laughs> on the volleyballs? <laughs> That's a good job from you, Greg. Make sure the volleyballs aren't messing around. <laughs> <laughs> I've recently been watching Toy Story. Good point. Oh, my God. I believe Definitely the technical term was conduct inventory. So I was right. just you're trying supposed to, to count sure. them. Yeah, you're supposed to count them. Uh, and it turned out that what she was doing was because no one really wanted to play volleyball, she had found the perfect spot to have a mid work sleep. How sleeping. big was this box? What's it was wrong like with volleyball. Woman could she, size. Could she stretch woman, oh, woman size? size. Yeah, yeah. You've, heard of a, you've heard of a volleyball coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Volleyball. Yeah. Yeah. So you opened it up and you saw a sleeping woman amongst all these volleyballs. How many were there? I'm like, I think probably like 35. You see, you've just said to me that this box was woman sized. <laughs> now, the largest woman I've ever seen is still smaller than 35 volleyballs. <laughs> <laughs> but they've used this as a chat up line. <laughs> So I feel a bit fat in this. I'll always go, don't be silly, you're less than 35 volleyballs. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she, did you wake her up? Yes. And so we became friends because then I would also often have a nap. In, in the volleyballs? In the volleyballs. What was her job supposed... What was she supposed to be doing at the time? We, we, Perhaps we would... she was sent to count the volleyballs earlier. <laughs> <laughs> become bored by the monotony of the process. The boss kept... I keep sending people to count the volleyballs and they never come back. <laughs> Working at the leisure centre, Nish, what else did your job demand of you? Basically, all round dog's body, so I would work on the front desk <laughs> sometimes. I thought you said all round ball games. <laughs> <laughs> so everything except rugby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bowls, David. What? They're not totally spherical in bowls. That's Are they not? I would say, colloquially, <laughs> they're still round, though. Oh, hello. It's all kicking off at Bridge Club. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Who else would you like to quiz? OK, Joe. What situation were you in where you were sculpting her head? Uh, we... I, I have an office in uh, Birmingham, where I live. That'll do. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I totally believe it. I mean, that, that makes it... You can answer any question you like, I don't mind. Do you have an office in Birmingham? Yeah. Right. Why? Um, why? Just to, to write jokes and be creative in. So, you went to this office to write jokes... Yeah. ..and said to your friend, ..would you like to come along, sit in the corner, and I'll sculpt your head? I've been looking for a use for all that clay I keep in my office. <laughs> Had you just been watching a Lionel Richie video? <laughs> <laughs> 
Hello? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So, did you know how to do this? No. But, yeah, I, I thought practice makes perfect, so I called Amy and... Um, how long did you spend doing it? Maybe an hour or so. Nope. Weren't you tempted to just make it nope. really... Nope. 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 I sculpt. Nope. That's a lie. Nope. Just everything about what he said is nope. I've have, I had the sculpt heads before, several times actually, uh, in school, and um, that shit takes weeks before it starts looking like a person. So, nope, 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 nope. Soft. Get her face. <laughs> Push it into it. <laughs> Of her head. I think, well, at least I've got a mould. You said she was offended by this sculpture. Yes, so she was offended. What, what did you end up with? Um, <laughs> uh, it didn't look like her. What did it look like? Um, it looked more like Ainsley Harriet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what about David? I'm looking forward to this. What was it you claimed, David? That, that, that Amy is the charity shop worker. That's right. Oh, yes. Who sold my shoes yes. whilst I was otherwise engaged trying on a pair of cowboy boots. Can you talk us through the incident, please? Um, well, incident. I was in the charity Which shop. Which charity shop? It was a, a Marie Curie charity shop near uh, where I live. OK. So I'm setting the scene before this. You're, you're at home, you're thinking, it's about time I got myself some cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> To commit to a new pair As in case one I go does. off the idea. <laughs> At some point in their Just life. Just on the very slightest off chance, yeah. they don't turn out to suit me yeah. and my personality. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Cowboy it's boots, believable. I'll be honest with you, don't particularly appeal to me aesthetically. Wow. That surprises me. I don't think me. they go with what I like to call my style. Oh. <laughs> well, how would you describe that style, David? I, I don't... I think my style is indescribable. Oh, well, I could describe it. <laughs> I think it's best left undescribed. <laughs> OK. Uh, I wasn't sitting at home plotting the purchase of some cowboy boots. No. I was pottering around near my house, and I saw the Marie Curie shop, and I saw in the window what looked like a, a nice selection of second-hand novels. Right. And I, I went in, <laughs> and it wasn't a nice selection of second-hand novels. It was all Ken Follett crap. <laughs> But I did notice the, the, the array of shoes, and I tend to take my shoes off at home and maybe wear slippers or socks. I don't want this to get too sexy. <laughs> and, and so I do not need my inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> so what I vaguely was on the lookout for was a pair of everyday, easy-to-put-on, non-lacing shoes that I could keep by the back door <laughs> if I needed to pop into the garden for some gardening. Oh, my God, cowboy boots for gardening. some of your shoes to the charity shop. I was... I was wearing shoes. <laughs> you just As to one take does. Take them off in the shop and hand Sorry, them to her. When, when, you, when you go shoe shopping, do you go barefoot? <laughs> <laughs> When I take shoes, shoes, no, no. When I take <laughs> shoes, me waiting. When I, <laughs> when I take shoes to the Sue Rider shop, yeah. I choose shoes that I no longer want. I don't wander around and then go, well, do you know what? You can have these if you want. <laughs> Why would you do that? You take them ready to give. I wasn't. It was not my plan. You're just donating. You're the only person in the whole of the United Kingdom watching this that isn't following this story. <laughs> 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 I'm in Argentina and I'm following the Jesus. story. Try the other one. Try the cowboy shoes on. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Where was he? David, I, I owe what? you an apology. <laughs> there you are in the shop. Yeah. Where uh, was, I'm in the shop and go? I spot these cowboy boots. And to me, they look sort of quite loose and easy to slip on. What length? <laughs> Um, not width, well, I, length. I'd say <laughs> that long. About that, so they're coming yeah. up to just below the knee. They're not, they're not, you know... They're, they're, <laughs> How tall are you, Rob? They're not <laughs> below... <laughs> For me, they'd be thigh length. Can't see over these. <laughs> I, just, I, just... <laughs> I would say they're, for a cowboy, they're sh shortish. But leather they're not, or suede? But they're not ankle boots. Leather so, or suede? Leather. And with a sort of bit of, um, I, guess I don't know the technical shoe terms, but sort of a, like a bit of uh, crenellation sort of flapping on them. <laughs> um, I'm just going to have to use the terminology of the medieval castle. It's the only way I'm <laughs> describing it. 
anyway, they look so like... So you saw them? You saw yeah, them? Yeah, I saw them. OK. So I thought, uh, you know, I'll try them on. Yeah. But they were slightly harder to get on than wow. I imagined. People wow. in the shop, I imagine, were going, why is David Mitchell trying yeah. on cowboy boots? <laughs> <laughs> the shop wasn't as packed as you're imagining. <laughs> <laughs> I thought myself to be the only customer there. Right. I was soon disabused of that notion. <laughs> <laughs> When did you notice that your own shoes had been sold? I think, well, I, w I w remember I walked to the back of the shop mm. in the cowboy boots, restraining an urge to walk like John Wayne. <laughs> and when I came back towards the shoe area, I noticed that my shoes weren't there. And did you see who'd bought them? I didn't, no. I'm picturing a scene where you walk out the shop and you walk home, and then a few minutes later, a cowboy goes up to the counter and says, Excuse me, um, I... <laughs> He's just trying on a pair, and then behind him a clown and a sailor. <laughs> and this just goes on all day, yeah. round and round. Yeah. David, David, yeah. I, I don't know you. I've just got to know you today, and I admire you very much. But what I know of you from watching you on TV, the cowboy boots, it's just, I, I can't buy it. I can't imagine you'd even try them on. Well, in which case, th then you should say that I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> so, we no need an answer. She, like... <laughs> what? Like, I, I don't understand why. <laughs> Let's just say I like the way that David handled that. Just like that wasn't. She made no questions to any of them. She, she, whatever. Never mind. Please, team. <laughs> Is Amy Joe's miffed model, <laughs> Nish's sleepy sidekick, <laughs> or David's sneak? I'm going with David. <laughs> Just, it's very believable to me. Not, not the way he told it, obviously, <clears throat> but I, I can see that happening. And also the the Amy's reaction when he was talking about the books and other things. I, I believe it's him. The sculptor sculpting thing is is BS because again I sculpt I know about it nope the um, the volleyball ones doesn't sound very real or plausible or making any sense at all also why do they have so many volleyballs if nobody plays vol like just no. Anyway, I'm good with this. Sneaky shoe seller. I'm more inclined to believe Nish myself. You believe but wait, I'm bothered that nobody asked. This is my problem. Nobody asked. He went to the shop, he took off his shoes, tried the cowboy boots on. They sold his shoes. Apparently he didn't see who bought them, so his shoes are gone. He didn't like the way the cowboy shoes fit or whatever. So what did he go home in? <laughs> Did he have to buy the cowboy boots? Did he go home barefoot? Did he buy another pair of pants? Like, uh, pants. Did he buy another pair of shoes? Like, I, how did nobody... They're not asking the good questions here. Nish, yeah. because... The because, important questions. I don't know, I just think Amy and Nish look like they could be really good mates. Miles, you think... Well, I was looking at her very closely. While Joe was talking about sculpting her, she looked quite icy about the whole thing. Wow. <laughs> and, of course, she was very offended in the store. Mm -hmm. But... During I mean, David's it? story, she looked, I mean, understandably baffled. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it might be Joe, actually. What uh, do you think? Well, I'm, I'm not... I'm beginning to think. I mean, it doesn't even matter what I think. I mean, your own... <laughs> your... I mean, my job really is to agree with you, Lee. I mean, you are a man... Are we trying to reenact Dad's army? <laughs> <laughs> do you think that's wiser? Um, I think... Uh... <laughs> Is that a drunk or something? I, uh, I think Nish is telling the truth. You think Nish is telling the yeah. truth? You think Nish is telling the yeah. truth? Yeah. Right, in that case, I'll go with what my team say. <laughs> You're saying it's Nish? No, I'm overruling! <laughs> I'm going with Joe! <laughs> you seriously? I feel it's Joe. All right. Amy, <laughs> would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Amy and I'm Joe's friend. Oh, Dude, no! That's not how that works. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have plays you don't sculpt anyway? Yeah. Oh, we have the sculpture? This is the sculpture. Oh, it's tiny. Okay, that I was Joe imagining big oh, <laughs> This is the sculpture. Get ready for this. <laughs> you will never <laughs> in your lifetime witness a worse sculpture 
than this. <laughs> I told you, it takes a long time before it starts looking like somebody. That doesn't look like anybody. <laughs> Damn. I feel a fool right now. A poor, poor woman. <laughs> Yes, Amy is Joe's mixed <coughs> model. Thank you very much, Amy. Okay. That made absolutely no sense to me. Why did he have the clay? Also, sculpting requires tools, very specific tools, <clears throat> especially when it's something that small. I, ex I was expecting something bigger, though, but whatever. That makes no sense. Like, it takes a very long time to even resemble a person, so... I don't know, bizarre to me. Anyway... Like, she's right to be offended, but she's not, because you have any idea how long it would take to actually make it look like her? Like, she can't even be... It didn't look like anybody. It's not like, oh, that's what you... That's how you see me? It's like, oh, dude, you don't know what you're doing? Stop! <laughs> anyway, damn it! I really wanted David Mitchell's story to be true, but I failed. Anyway, there we go. I hope I can upload this. Oh, if you're seeing it, it means I could, so yay! Anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for everything. Um... This, 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 this episode made me look pretty dumb. That is very unfortunate. Oh, well. <laughs> I swear I know what I'm talking about. But just, that was just the bizarre that that was true. Anyway, whatever. Guys, have a great one, and I'll see you very soon.